no internet to get a grab and we have no idea what hotel it is. We've just got in some car, haven't we? Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Ben. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. We're on tour with Dredgers and this is our Indonesia series. Today, we are leaving Yogyakarta and heading to Bandung. We're literally on our way to the train station. We're an hour early. We're gonna find out our platform and stare at it for an hour. We will not miss this train. Did you sit in the car? Yeah. <laughs> ben obviously blindside that way, so but I can only hold the camera like this. But we got our train tickets yesterday to make sure they didn't sell out, because sometimes they can. We haven't had the problem yet, but we were right next to the train station and got them and they were 135,000 for both of us and we're in economy like kind of like not basic but basic enough we didn't think it was worth paying over double for this executive so we've gone back to our normal route we thought the first time we, we rode we thought there wasn't much difference so that's why we've gone economy this time but this is a long eight hour train ride i think this is our longest so far i'm not sure yeah pretty certain it is I actually enjoy them. I think this is probably one of the best railway systems I've ever used yeah, traveling so, around Asia. Okay. So I quite enjoy it. I get a lot of work done and I can stay and chill for eight hours. I will say, like we're talking about the railways, Sri Lanka and India were definitely cheaper. They were so busy and so uncomfortable. This is just like... You get a seat. Yes, yeah, it's, it's ideal. I think Malaysia is good, but this is good as well. But my arm's breaking, so I'm going to go. We're through. We've been scanned. We're in the bit where the platform is. It can't go wrong now. We've got a massive bag of snacks so we're sorted for this eight hour train ride. We're not really sure which platform we're on. <laughs> I was so sad. But everyone's like sat over here, so we'll kind of follow everyone near to the time and double check maybe. Ben. 16. Yeah, there. Hello. So this is the seats room for the next eight hours. We picked the wrong ones. <laughs> Sorry. We'll be alright. Uh, one thing I've noticed in our trains in the UK, the toilet door is in the cabin, whereas this one, the toilet door's on, on the outside. So obviously, if anyone stinks. Everyone in the cabin can smell it in the UK, but here. Really in stinky poo. Not yeah. Stinks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. Obviously, here it's a little bit different. No one can smell it, so you're free to be as smelly as you like. I like that, I think that's a good idea. You can be very smelly then. Well, for me, yeah, definitely. So, we also got some fruit tea. First time trying the strawberry one. What did you get? Uh, green tea, and yeah, it's got less sugar. And this is how he opened the bottle. Tea. Cold green tea. Yeah. I've tried loads of green teas out here, but not a flavoured one. I'm looking forward to this. I look things sweet. Oh, that's well nice. Is it? That's the best one. It's not too sweet and it's not too tea. -y. It's just like a light strawberry flavour. It's really nice. So we're going for these as our next snack. They are Indonesia's number one crisps. And we've got the beef and barbecue flavour. very basic I mean where we sat before it was a little bit more comfortable we had a bit more room with the table and stuff but here it's just it's just benches really which yeah it's all right we're how far into uh two hours and 45 minutes into the journey so not too bad getting a bit of a numb bum keep wanting to eat all our snacks so I'm a bit like that I like if I know there's food there 
I'm just like thinking about it. Should we try something? Yeah, I was thinking try the Beniss Beniss snack. Beniss. Beniss. That there dry brownies. Oh my god, there's a thing at the top. Hmm. They look like brownie biscuits. They literally are like dry brownies. Oh, they smell good. They smell very rich. They're really like. Obviously not allowed past the gates into the train station, so they're selling them through the gates. Quite clever. Come on, buy some. Hey. Well, I think we've got about an hour and a half left. It's been quite nice actually. This whole carriage has been pretty much empty the whole time. We've had about five people in it. I've got a lot of work done on a laptop, but yeah, I'm ready to get off now. Terima kasih atas kepercayaan anda telah menggunakan kereta api. Okay, we're pulling up to a stop. We assume it's a stop, but both of us are completely out of date and out, so we have no internet to get a grab, and we have no idea what our hotel is. So this is going to be fun. I've never got off a train like that. <laughs> oh, oh, we're now some bags. Oh, but we have arrived in Bangdong, where we're going to be spending the next four days exploring. Now we've got to try and get to our accommodation somehow. Hopefully, they got Wi Fi in there. Ben's on the Wi Fi hunt. Well, it doesn't look like there's much around here, but we're just following the crowd. Loads of people are walking out this way. They might be just walking to their car or something, but. We've got to find somewhere with internet. Okay, so we've come outside and the guy's like, are you all right? He's got like water on his top and he works for the train station. We were like, oh, we need to get here. And he said, oh yeah, it's over there. He said, yeah, it's over there, but you need to get a grab. We were like, we've got no internet. He said, stay here one minute. I'll get, I'll sort you out. So, I don't know what's going on. 100,000 IBR. 100,000? 100,000 IBR. With the trust studio. 100,000? Yeah, it's too much. Uh, 70,000 <laughs> Sorry. Hotel. Mister Hotel. Hotel. Studio. Studio. Yeah. Transfer. Sorry. Studio. We just got in someone's car. Right. Where are you going? Where are you going? This one. You know, yeah. Ah, ini tuh. Redor. Hotel. Kita mau di gigiran anak. Ayah. Redor. Oh, tuh nasi kambing. 
Bantal guling, bantal guling, bantal guling. Cuma juga Ivana. Sekarang di rumah. Okay. Iya bang. Okay. Okay. Nuhun. You speak English? Yes. No, no, yes, no. Yes, no. Yes. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Kela. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Okay. No, grab a bag. Hey guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Go see. Watch out, there's bikes over there. Oh, sugar. We're being dropped off. That definitely was a taxi, but we're here and safe. Um, we can see the sign. We don't know where the hotel is. In there. Oh, okay. Thank you. So we've not been dropped at the right one. To be honest, it is right next to the Trans Mall, but we're still a 30 minute walk away from our place, so completely wrong. So it's going to cost us another 30,000. Wow, the last one was 50,000, this one's going to cost us 30,000. So I'm a little bit gutted, I thought it looked really good around here. So. I know, we've got like literally Intermar opposite our so. Hello, for Ben. Yeah. Where's this destination? This is uh, Red Door. Yeah, it'll be one of these. We're literally getting our third taxi. We're still at the wrong location. We have no idea how this is happening. These kind girls here are like helping us. As you can see, we finally made it to our room after three taxis. Luckily, the kind girls got us a taxi and we finally made it here. Luckily, there was a red sign. You know there's a red door when you see the red sign? Yeah. But we're in here and it was a really nice guy and he checked us in quick. And nice. We're really impressed. Our train pulled up at 20 past 7 and now it's like quarter to 10. So it took us all that time to get here. That's what happens when you haven't got data. Yeah, data is so essential. To be honest, it wasn't scary. It isn't scary on the roads with your backpack. Everyone's Every so nice. Everyone helped us. It was, if it so weren't nice. for the nice people here, I don't know how we would have made it here because we every, every hotel was giving us Wi-Fi. Everyone was helping us with directions. Oh, we're so happy, but yeah. this is our room for four nights and you won't believe how much this costs us. $9.50 a night. How mad's that for this? Yeah. Sorry, I had to pull my bag out because I needed more ID. Yeah. And a bathroom. I'll tell you what, this is like the nicest and cleanest one we've had in a while as well. And it's the cheapest. It's so. a good bed doors. But we're going to go. We're going to order some food because we haven't eaten and I'm starving. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. As you can see, it's the next day and our first job today was to get our data topped up. And we did it. We yeah. could not do it online. Our cards wouldn't be accepted or anything. You spent all morning, then. No, you? They, there is a, there's an app you can download called um, Traveloka and you can actually go to the Indomart and get it, but it's just, it doesn't accept foreign card, only Indonesian bank accounts. And for what it was worth, we started walking to the Indomart and we saw a little store selling SIM cards. Just a lady on her own. Well, look, should we just get a SIM card? It'd be easier. Yeah, but she did manage to top up our, our actual SIM card, so we didn't even have to get a new SIM card, which was ideal. Yeah, she was, just spoke no English, there's communication through Google Translate, thank God for that. Yep. And she, um, it's like a scratch card thing, wasn't it? Yeah. She's, um, she asked us which gigabyte we wanted and um, she scratched off a number and then she did it all for us. And we got like extra bonuses on it, so we're sorted now until we leave. So Ben got 17 gigabytes and his was 48,000. And I got eight gigabyte for around 30,000, which will sort us out for a rest of trip now. So we're happy that's done. We're like, we're not doing what we did last night. <laughs> that was it's, not worth it. It's just a pain in the arse not having a SIM card. I know, and we were talking back, Luke, when we first started traveling the first like few months, we never got a SIM card. We did a month in Ukraine without a SIM card. We don't know how we did it. Always get SIM cards, so especially for like safety purposes. It's safe out here, but like if we get separated, how do we contact each other? Where, yeah, how just, do we like say where we are? Just good to have it. Yeah, definitely. Well, we're now going to Indomaret to just get some drinks and that, because. We're just going to work today, I think. We're a bit like tired and we need to get a video up. It's been a few days. So. Yeah, see that for a okay, so we ended up going to Alpha Bar and I'm just going to show you what we got in there. Just in case you're curious. So we got four cans of Coke Zero. I've got a new razor. We got some Vanish because Ben socks are not white anymore. Uh, look at this, some hair serum. And it looks like he's in like a lip gloss thing. I would have definitely thought that was lip gloss. And some sachets of coffee for Ben. Um, we're reading this as coffee and sugar sachets and then we got some toilet roll because They never really give you toilet roll in the room. So I just thought I'd buy some it won't much, but all this costs us a hundred thousand So not bad. 
and Ben hates going shopping with me because... Just takes too long. She looks at everything, goes back around, looks again, looks at the same thing, picks up something, puts it back, then goes back to this hill, then picks up a thing. She went, first of all... Still going on? <laughs> I could have made a bed this morning. And look, these are just one pair of Ben socks from yesterday. They smell. So they're going in the soak with some vanish. Hopefully they come up a bit better. But yeah, this is just our day today. So we'll just show you what a normal day is. Not filming, but we're filming what we're doing. <laughs> right, not gonna lie, we've had a working day. So we've been a bit lazy. Haven't really ventured out. We're venturing out now. There's a coffee shop just down the road. We're gonna go there and get something to eat, get some coffee and maybe do a bit more work. When he says we've been lazy today, I've got two videos done. So I don't count that as lazy. But well, I look like this because I've also had hair mask, face mask day. So a nice day, I've done some washing. Ben's socks look so much better. He's a lucky guy, I know. And I just want to show you, got my bag on today. How cute is this? I think that'd be perfect when I go home for like little summer weddings and that. So I've got a couple coming up, so that'd be good. I've got my sister one as I showed you as well. So this is definitely the busiest city we've been to. There's so many scooters and cars on the road. Whoa. <laughs> It's definitely a lot busier here. And we were just saying, look, the evening's really nice and cool. So I'm glad we stayed in all day and then come out at this time. Definitely a good idea. But this pavement's all over the place. That's why I'm like looking down and walking into Ben. It's hard to film. Stop. Wait, what? This is Nessie AM, go on. Let's have a look. We got our drinks, we just ordered some food. The guy came over and he literally translated the whole menu. So nice, honestly. And we just, he just asked about our channel and subscribed and stuff. It's just, just, everyone's just so nice. I love it. Okay, so our food's come out. We've gone for the Nasi Baker. This was recommended by the chef because we weren't really sure what to order because we wanted something different. We've got a uh, spicy sauce, white rice, and like ribs. The guy told us they're ribs. We're not sure what meat. It looks kind of beefy, maybe mutton or something. And then we've got like a side of broth. This broth looks really nice and fresh. So I'm gonna try it. Mm, that's beautiful. It's like really light as well. It's not like greasy. Can't think what it is, but there's like a kind of a hint of a, like sweetness to it. But you can taste the garlic in it. Come on, that looks good. Oh my God. That literally melts in my mouth. Oh, it's delicious. It's got like a sticky, tangy sauce on the outside and it's grilled. That is, oh, that is delicious. We're gonna dig in and enjoy. Wow. Another thing recommended is these, they're kind of like shaped like a spring roll, but I don't think they are spring rolls. Breadcrumbs and deep fried, I'd say. I didn't expect that. It's kind of like a chewy outside. Um, I can't really describe it. I have had it before. It's kind of like gooey, battery thing. It's normally like rice flour, but inside you've got fried egg and some kind of meat. It's like a smoked meat. Normally I'd say ham or pork, but they don't have that out here. They're very different. I, I like them, but I'm not sure of them. You know what I mean? But we've also got a side of chili sauce with it. But this place we just found literally like it's around the corner from us on the main road. It wasn't the original place we we're going to, the original place just didn't exist, it weren't there. This place we couldn't find on Google Maps, so I'll just put like the kind of a location, it's like next to a bank, so I'll put that in the description below. Copy Pakarang, copy obviously means coffee, so it is like a coffee shop and loads of locals just like sit here chatting, chilling in the afternoon. And unlike us English people, we would probably be in the pub drunk on the floor right now but they are more civilised out here and sit and have a chat and have a coffee which I really like as I'm not a drinker but this is very cute and it's outside as well so it's quite cool in here yeah, and you bye good. thank you thanks <laughs> look at him oh he didn't like Ben so all of that tea coffee two mains and a side and a bottle of water 97,000 I really enjoyed that and the atmosphere added to it as well. It was yeah. really nice. That was a bit like like high quality food as well. It was street food, but it was really well well presented on like Rah! <laughs> yeah, it was really really well presented on like porcelain plates. You can tell they took care of like how it came out as well. I've got the beer, it was 65,000. It's only my second beer here in Java, but it's quite expensive. But you know, 
there's not as much of a demand here because not as many people drink. So where Ben got the beer from, it's actually a bar. We could hear like music upstairs, so it's obviously lively, a bit of atmosphere going on up there. I did try and have a sneaky look, but I couldn't bother to go upstairs. But we maybe, maybe might venture back there tomorrow because it is Friday. Yeah, I'll try a few beers, why not? But we're going to head back to our place now. We've arrived in Bangdong, but we haven't actually showed our first impressions. So that'll be the next video, so make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, to be fair, our train pulled up at uh, 20 to 8 and now it's like 20 past 9. No, it's like 10 o'clock, isn't it? And oh. um, some soft strip. And we were just saying that the evening's really. In this place, we couldn't find on Google Maps, so we'll put it um, near the location of. <laughs>